Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube universe, what is going on with you on this Saturday morning? It is Saturday, March 23rd, 2024, roughly 9.56 a.m. California time. I'm, of course, your always gracious host, Fallon from GoNootropics.com. Coming at you with the coffee. Cheers. We are cruising through on day six of the Hershey's Cocoa Withdrawals, right? Courtesy of Fogbert, right? Kratom withdrawals, no different than a, a bad Hershey's Cocoa habit. We're here on day six, coming off the chocolate. Um, last night, uh, brutal sleep we're of course talking about kratom now just making lights of a funny fog bird situation but day six uh cold turkey kratom last night was brutal restless legs absolutely brutal tossing and turning probably got maybe a couple hours of, of sleep last night it was it was rough goings you know it seems like uh, everything is kind of clicking except that at this point on day number six it's like still can't fall asleep you know can't fall asleep the the restlessness I ended up moving to the the ground last night from the bed just because I needed like I needed like 10 feet of like rolling latitude movement because it's just you can't stay still you know you, you can't stay still you're totally restless on on day number five and if i looked back on you know this is not my first rodeo quitting quitting cradle this is like what the third fourth time you know every time's the last time every time is is the last go around and i i just think that's the key i just think you, you just gotta get tired of the rodeo you know, you, you got to get tired of the rodeo. This is like the fourth rodeo. And uh, looking back, this this is kind of like par for the course. You know, this is not the first rodeo. So, yeah, this time is a little different. I don't know why. It could be uh, strains, you know, the, the types of strains I've been taking. I've been taking pretty much what Christine takes because... She's been, she's, she's a veteran. How long have you been taking Kratom? Oh, I'd say about five years or six. She's been taking Kratom five years. So she has certain strains that she likes. So we just kind of bought those strains. And she's been taking Kratom five, six years. She's going to be coming off after, after me, <laughs> which is going to be brutal. It was pretty brutal last time yeah. you tried coming off, right? Oh, yeah very brutal so yeah. we've been i've been taking the red valley that she takes you know traditionally i've kind of stuck to the the green the green and like white strains because i prefer the the more stimulating strains the faster strains uh, but this time i have been taking more of the red which could be uh you know it could give you different symptoms you know some people say uh, if you have been taking the reds, which are more analgesic, they're more kind of like pain killing. You get more of the pain killing properties with the red to switch to like a green, you know, switch to a green. And then you experience kind of more of a like a, a stimulant withdrawal rather than like the opioid withdrawal. That kind of makes sense. Right. You know, because if, if you do favor that analgesic opioid effect from Kratom, you know yeah you're, you're probably gonna get those restless legs you know i've never really been hooked on opioids before uh but i have been hooked on stimulants i took vivance for a long time i came off of that um never really got the restless legs with coming down off of stimulants so <laughs> I, I wish i would have done that because the restless legs here on day six are are absolutely brutal. Once again, moving down off of the bed to get that lateral rolling movement, I probably fell out for maybe uh, maybe a couple hours. I, I fell out. Don't remember falling out. 
having dreams of, of water and waves. Every time I go through withdrawals or I go through like turbulence, like mental turbulence, I dream of like these massive fast moving waves. A every single time I, I dream of waves. I'm in the water, you know, it's like, if you're having dreams, you're in the water and there, there's waves. Uh, sometimes you might get, I get like, like a sense that there's like a shark below me every time I come off of something. There's always water, there's always turbulence. It's like turbulent water and I'm, I'm kind of getting swept away by the water. So last night I fell out for a couple hours and I woke up feeling, you know, pretty refreshed all things considered. I think, you know, uh, woke up with with a surprising amount of energy and i think that just has to do with what part of the sleep cycle you wake up in like i don't know the science behind it but i do know if you wake up in the middle of like a deep sleep cycle that's when you get like that feeling of like real grogginess even if you you've slept eight hours nine hours seven eight nine hours if, if you wake up in that certain part of the sleep cycle you're going to be groggy but you can get two hours, and if you wake up in the right part of the sleep cycle, you're you're gonna feel you're gonna feel pretty energized. So two hours of sleep last night, yesterday, I kind of did say, and I I think yesterday's video that my physical body had recovered, but that wasn't the case yesterday at all. I was super dragging on the bike, just the legs feeling heavy. Um, the body feeling heavy going up the the hills and just having like no power at all you know and and christine's like right behind me which usually she's like way far back up the hills and i'm going man i must be i, I must be really dragging right now like i i don't feel good i remember at the funeral i went to like i could barely stand man there wasn't enough seats for all of us, so of course you let the old people sit down. I just let everybody sit down first. And I'm standing there nearly passing out and just feeling like an old man. This is kind of what it feels like. You feel like an old man. But there are, once again, some inklings of, of things coming back. Like I feel like just less less puffy overall like taking the kratom i felt like i was just kind of like bloated just bloated my muscles didn't feel tight they they felt like flabby like my whole body felt super flabby so that I, i'm finally starting to feel like my muscles actually have like hardness to them again because that was the thing with kratom is like i just felt i felt soft i felt every part of my body every part of my muscles just kind of felt soft they didn't feel like they had any form to them maybe it's not obvious uh looking at these videos but that's how it felt it felt like like my entire body was just soft and that's starting to disappear so even though i'm kind of dragging on the bike like my physical energy isn't there i'm starting to notice like physically i'm just starting to look better despite not being able to sleep that well despite still kind of having low energy lethargy throughout the day uh I feel like my body is just starting to just redial itself here on day number six. But the restless legs, if I do look back on the previous rodeos, uh, this is, you know, it's kind of par for the course. And one of you guys left a, comments, a comment, which, by the way, much appreciated all, all the comments you guys leave. They're very, you know, inspirational. A lot of you guys are quitting, too. You know, when I do these Kratom videos, these in particular the quitting kratom videos there's always a lot of engagement a lot of action in the comments because this is we're all trying to come off the hershey's cocoa right and it's it's hard it's hard once you develop a, a 20 gram per day chocolate habit and you, ex <laughs> you experience those withdrawals it's hard you know so people are they're looking for inspiration i'm looking for inspiration because day number five and six it it gets brutal like last night it was just 
even though the psychological symptoms aren't there, like, I don't know if I would describe this as harrowing, but it's, what I would describe it as is like gnawing. It's like the restless legs at night. It's, it's just, it's like you're tied up and there's just this beast that inhabits your legs or it's like this beast that it's just like gnawing on your body all night long hour after hour it's like you're going 12 rounds in the ring with mike tyson and you just you gotta power through all 12 rounds <clears throat> so day number six we're in like i don't know this is like the eighth round the match is the match is almost over but but still it's like you, you just gotta power through and kick the chocolate <laughs> once and for all just kick it once and for all and uh this is day six and thinking back to the other rodeos yeah the restless legs i remember they lasted for like two weeks the restlessness <clears throat> most of the other stuff cleared up pretty quick but the restlessness at night uh that stayed for like two weeks um it, it does get better it's not as intense after you know it's intense for the first few days and then you start being able to sleep even though the restlessness is there the intensity is not so bad that you that you can't fall asleep you know and People talk about the magnesium and they talk about the black seed oil and they talk about this and people are talking about freaking B vitamins. It's like nothing works. That's the truth. It's like nothing works for this. It's just, it's true. The, the supplement thing is, I, I only recommend them because I, I think it they're important psychologically that you have something they're just like a little hope that's as you're weighing things out and onto the scale you got your black seed oil the cold pressed highest quality whole foods black seed oil you, you got the magnesium glycinate you got the best form of the magnesium you got the l-theanine you got the lemon balm you got the kava uh, the kava actually does work better than the others so if you're gonna spend your money on supplements i'd recommend the kava and take that when the the restlessness starts to hit you don't really need it in the first couple days but uh on days like three or four three and four and beyond when you do start to get that restless feeling at night the kava helps better than anything else but as far as when you hear people talk about like the magnesium and all these vitamins and minerals like yeah those are important but look they're not gonna they don't do anything for the restlessness they, they just don't at best they give you a little hope they give you as just they might take the edge off very very minimally if if any at all that's just been my experience taking this stuff at night <clears throat> the magnesium all, all these things uh, they just help minimally and at best they just give you like a little bit of psychological hope that maybe it's going to work so if you're gonna spend money um, spend money on really good kava get yourself like like a 16 ounce bag that was the mistake I kind of made it's just I, I bought a little four ounce bag that just didn't last <laughs> and, and so now it's like I'm just gonna push through. So get yourself like a 16 ounce bag of kava, maybe a, a couple of them, and learn how to prepare it the traditional way, let it steep, learn how to make it really good. And that will help better than the rest. Uh, but, but as far as this like vitamin chop stuff, the, the magnesium, B vitamins, <clears throat> uh, I don't think that any of those things help at all at least with the acute symptoms they might speed up recovery time i have no way to know if that's the case or not uh, they might speed up the time it takes for you to recover but as far as those hardcore brutal uh, acute symptoms it, it's just they don't work man they just <clears throat> they, they don't really work at all but that's been my experience and like i said at best they do give you a little psychological hope which is crucial like even even now even though i know they don't work i still find myself going over there because it's like a psychological 
coping mechanism just to take something you know it's, it's like especially if you're an addict it's like it feels good just to take anything <laughs> just to just to take any kind of weird looking white powder it's just there's there's something about it that's psychological that i think is is really important you know and yesterday this is kind of funny as i'm rolling i'm getting that lateral movement on the ground on the floor i'm on the i'm on the ground you know because i just need that space to roll around and and move my legs and i don't want to wake christine up um i'm imagining in my head taking a dose of the chocolate right i'm imagining if if i just took a single dose of the hershey's cocoa that all this would just all the symptoms would immediately be remedied right don't you as you're tossing and turning don't you think it just how good it would feel to take to, to take that dose and i think that's like the closest you're ever going to get to cracking is like at night when the restlessness comes that's the closest you're ever going to get to cracking at least in my experience that that's when it really gets like you really got to power through but i'm imagining in my brain taking the dose and how the kratom tastes and how it feels going down and i swear for maybe five or ten minutes the restlessness disappeared it was like some psychological trick I played on myself. And that helped for five to ten minutes, but it was shortly, you know, there's not much you can do with the restless legs except, you know, take gabapentin or take clonidine or take, uh, you know, a, a sleeping pill, temazepam, Ambien, something like that, just to knock you out. Uh, I just, I don't really recommend those because it's it's just you know they're 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 brutal in and of themselves if i take sleeping pills for three days i gotta withdraw off of that if i take sleeping pills for three days and then come off i can't i can't sleep after coming off sleeping pills for three days maybe your experience is different but you know all these all these things are just thorns off the same bush and if you could just power through it naturally that's kind of the best route admittedly i have been taking the the fenibut today i took 100 milligrams just like the tiniest tiniest dose tomorrow i won't take any and then it's, it's just gonna be you know uh just pushing through from there so they they can help but i i know eventually that i'm gonna experience a mild fenibut withdrawal probably later on tomorrow which, which sucks you know it's just you can't you can't escape the hell that that drugs are you know it, it's just you're taking out a loan and you gotta repay the loan right it's just that's what drugs are you're, you're taking out a temporary loan and and you always pay it back with interests right the, the repo man always comes to collect it's just the truth it's it's the reality it's you know it's it's what the fog birds of the world don't understand the chocolate taken fog birds of the world <laughs> no anyways this is day number six cold turkey kratom withdrawal we're keeping the train rolling as always fallon go nootropics.com as always thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and I will see you very soon. Peace.